mula sa paaralang ng Tresi Martyr City National High School sa espesyal na programa ng Sasining Media ay aming ipapakita ang mga nagninginas na katha ng bawat mag-aaral na nagmula sa ikapitong baitang. Narito ang mga digital arts and designs, storytelling at iba pang likhang katha gamit ang kanilang mga telepono, kamera at iba pang teknolohiyang kagamitan. Lights, camera, action. Nasaktan? Nasaktan na. Kayo mga lalaki, akala nyo pag nang bababae kayo, nasasaktan nyo lang kami. Itutulog lang yung sakit, tas pagising, okay na? Yun ang pangarap namin. Sana nga, God. Kadali yun. Kaso hindi. Walang tigil ng takbo ng utak namin. Pinipilit sagot na ng maraming tanong. Bakit niya kaya nagawa yun? Am I not enough? Ma may kulang ba sa akin? May mali ba sa akin? Bangit ba ako? Kapalit-palit ba ako? Lights, camera, action. Ikaw din naman ah, ginagawa mo gusto mo. Eh bakit kami? Hindi pwede! Wala akong ginagawang masama! Walang wala, pero meron, meron, meron!
as a hundred of us, myth on the origin of the pineapple. Aling Rosa, a widow, had a daughter named Pina. Pina was a ten-year-old in a mind of her own. She was a headstrong, preferred maid that helped her mother to the house. When Aling Rosa got sick one day, Pina had no choice but to do some of the chores, which included preparing food for both of them. Since Pina had not had any experience working in the kitchen, she woke up her mother conveniently to ask for directions, even help her looking for things. Ang alamat ng pinya! Noong unang panahon, may magnanay na nangangalang Frida at Pina. Maagang nawalan ng tatay si Pina. Kaya naman, ay inalagaan at minahal siyang mabuti ng kanyang nanay. Si Frida ang nagluluto, pati na rin ang naglilinis ng bahay. Samantala, si Pina ay madalas na walang ginagawa at hindi tumutulong sa mga gawaing bahay. Isang araw ay nagkasakit si Frida. One day Pink and Purple were traveling in the woods. Until it began to rain, Pink suggested to go in a nearby cave. When they got in, the entrance, it suddenly closed, which made them freak out. Looks like we're all stuck here, said a man. Who are you? Purple said. I'm blue, said the man. They walked further inside. This is green, my best friend. Blue pointed to a man sleeping. Thirty minutes later Green woke up. He looked so nervous and doesn't know what happened. Pink said hi. But he was too scared to reply. Don't worry they're friends, this is Pink and Purple. Blue said. Hi. Green finally spoke. Looks like we're really stuck here. Purple said. This made Green really nervous and fainted. Pink then got worried. Don't worry it's normal for him, he always faints even. Hmm, in almost everything actually. Said Blue. We need to find an exit, said Pink. The three of them started to find a way out. One hour later, Green woke up and helped them find a way out of the cave. Then Green found a button. He called out the rest. Hey guys should I press it? He asked. I don't know maybe it's a trap or something? replied pink just go for it said purple then green pressed it there was a loud thud and they all panicked they all suddenly fall going nowhere why did you press it said blue angrily it seems right to press it replied green then moments later they're already on the ground what is this place asked green well you're the one who pressed the button, ah. Uh. Once upon a time, there was an island where all feelings lived. Happiness, sadness, knowledge, and all of others including love. One day, it was announced to the feelings that the island would sink. So all constructed boats and left, except for love. Love was the only one who stayed. Love wanted to hold out until the last possible moment. When the island had almost sunk, Love decided to ask for help. Witchness was passing by Love in the grand boat. Love said, Witchness, can you take me with you? Witchness answered, No, I can't. There is a lot of gold and silver in my boat. There's no place here for you. Sadness was close by, so love asked. Sadness, let me go with you. Oh, love, I'm so sad that I need to be by myself. Happiness passed by love too, but she was so happy that she didn't even hear when love called her. Suddenly, there was a voice. Come, love. I will take you. It was an elder who blessed and overjoyed. Love even forgot to ask the elder where they were going.
do you know that ghosts are scared of daylight? Thus, they appear at night. I'm Emmy. And this is the story how I met my soulmate. A ghost soulmate. Are you okay? Uh, ah yes, I'm fine. And the girl went home. But the ghost followed her. Are we fine? Don't worry. I'm really fine. The ghost knew that she was lying. That the girl wasn't fine. <sighs> fine. I'm not really okay. And it told the ghost her problems. The ghost stayed and cried with Emmy. <laughs> the sun starts to rise. <laughs> the ghost needs to leave before sunrise. But as soon as the ghost saw Emmy smile, The ghost fear of daylight was gone. Even if the ghost doesn't know what will happen after the sun rises. The ghost disappeared. Emmy waited for the ghost for days and for weeks. I'm here. <gasps> You're there. They finally meet again. Surpass your fears to claim your victory. The End Original Story by Maria Judesa Rodriguez The girl named Elena. Hi everyone, I'm Elena. When I was a baby, my mother left me outside of a hospital. I never saw my biological parents after that. 
I got adopted when I was seven years old. My new mother is amazing. She never made me feel like I was adopted. But when I was 12, my mother left. She went to a business meeting. While on the way, she got in a very When I found out that my mother were gone, I was so sad. A few days later, I went to an adoption facility. I've been there for a year, but no one is still adopting me. One day, a facility staff woke me up and sent me to the facility director because he wanted to see me. When I was in the office, I saw a beautiful woman. When the woman saw me, she stood up and approached me. She hugged me too. Without taking her eyes off me, she said, Mr. Brown, let's proceed with the adoption. I was surprised when I heard what she said. She was supposed to pick me up the next day. I was waiting in the front yard with my friends. I was watching the street. Then someone parked in front of us, a car. Then someone got out and started running towards us. I couldn't believe my eyes when I realized that it was my new mother. In the next couple of days, I would find out that I was adopted by a billionaire family. There was a huge mansion. When I entered the mansion, I could not believe that I would live here. I saw a maid waiting for me. Where is my room? I asked. I will show you. Follow me, replied the maid. When I got into my room, I was fascinated by the beauty of my room. I can't believe this is going to be my life from now on. After checking my new room, I went out and saw my new parents. My new dad was surprised when he saw me and hugged me and said, I can't believe we're together again, my daughter. I was surprised when he said this. I asked my new dad why he said we are together again. They told me everything that had happened and they also said that they were my real parents. My mother left me out of the hospital because she said she could not raise me and give me a good life. They work hard and enrich so that when they came back they could provide for my needs. Five years later, we live peacefully and happily. The end.